All right, what's good? They got a repair. Got a video for y'all. This is a two. If the camera goes out of focus, give it a second to uh, readjust because like damn near up front is probably trying to catch my face and everything. But this is a 2000, trying to get comfortable, 2013 uh, Ford Focus. I don't know what year this go up to, but it's one of the ones. Uh, this is one of the latest body style. I don't know what else body style that they got up there. But this is pretty updated. So 2013 Ford Focus, the hatchback, I think it's the SE one. And the issue with this is the passenger front. This is Jazz car, by the way. So uh, we're going to be seeing like uh, children's toys and uh, trash and stuff everywhere. Jazz, you watching this video? I'm grinding you up, boo, because you got to tighten up. You got to get this tightened up, boo, like real shit. So issue is the front passenger seat won't slide back or go forward. Um, this is not a power seat. It's uh, one of those manual ones. So if I try to lift this, this lever up here, and try to move it back, clearly there's something in my way that's preventing uh, it from moving. Uh, that's one way we can eliminate what was going on with here. So whenever I get issues like this, I like to look underneath to see if there's something in the way of, uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, maybe it's something in a way that's uh, stopping the seat from moving right along in the track. So it looked like I see something that's in a way that's stuck in the track. Yep, it looked like it. I don't know what this is. Along we see trash, adapter for a phone charger, uh, toys. Uh, I'm just going ahead and uh, take this off. So uh, give me one second to set this up on uh, a tripod. I'm gonna let you know what tools you need because this do look like a torque setup. Um, I think this one is too big. Let me come down the size and try uh, 45, I believe, if this is a 40, 50. Um, looks like 50 is work. So it's a 50 Torx. Um, when we use it, my electric uh, half inch, certain spots I can, and there are four points uh, all around a car you're going to be working with. So let me take uh, my glove off so I can show you. So inside of the car. So these are uh, just in the front seat. Uh, here's one of the torques that you need to get to. So that's the, uh, the, the T50. Camera looks all choppy a little bit, but y'all live. It's a repair video. I'm helping y'all out. So here's the other one um, right there. Uh, there's one right here. And there's another one on the back side. That's the one in the back right there. So there's not a one in that corner right there to the right. So just wherever I showed you at, that's what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen up all these real quick. So I got like the camera set up weirdly. You'll live. You want to know why? Because I live. So that's it. Let me. I'm mad I got this cherry trigger in the way. I got to make my way uh, around the car real quick. Probably like spider webs on me. Cause that's like web on the wall I gotta like get off. I just don't be like caring to like clean up in here too much because it's all old and cranky dank, but clean up enough where um I just need to shut up because that's a, a shitty excuse, right? So like I said, it's T50 torques. Go ahead and uh remove it. Uh let me turn this light off because this one like to um make my camera like you know start like flashing this right here so we can see so I have to crack them free before I break them and this ratchet right here as you see I'm doing a giveaway this is the earthquake XT the 3 8 one from Harbor Freight I'm doing a giveaway uh, it's a Christmas giveaway so I will be start promo for it um, on as of the, the first of December so I'll just let in everybody know you know my last live stream a couple days ago and we'll be letting them know the next couple videos but as soon as December hit and that's why I'm going to be really going hard with it. I'll let y'all know in the details in December's bit. This one. Remember, there are four. I don't know. I don't know why they use torques for this. This. I don't, I, I really don't. That's, I think that's really dumb. Let me get the one on the side. Um, I know you guys won't be able to see, but I did show you where they are, so that's up to you. You 
use your imagination at this point. Now, I, I do kind of see, let me get the one in the back. I do see what's uh, in the way. Um, you know, this type of shit happens. Uh, you know, I'm going to be real blunt about it. This shit happens when, you know, you just don't clean your car. Like, a lot of goddamn shit get under the sea and they get in your way. That's what happens. The five people take note to clean your car. Clean your car. Definitely. So now, Lucky Jazz boyfriend is a mechanic. He can get this done. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> She took it to a shop and definitely she did she wouldn't have known how to uh you know get the seat out. This would have been involved labor, like an hour, an hour and a half. They might even charge you two hours for this. I don't know. So I got the uh hoping you guys can see good. Um I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod in a second. So I mean I don't have my knee uh pads on. It is what it is. But uh, I took the four uh, torques off, the four bolts off, and I'm able to lift the seat back. So I uh, maneuvered the seat leaning back. So um, here's the charger in the way. Um, as you will see, all this trash. I did get a bag for it. Jazz, I try to be nice and throw some of this in the trash for you. You got a slipper. That don't make no damn sense. And, you know, black and Puerto Rican people, I tell you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me get some of this trash. One second, y'all. Got toys and all types of. All right, so I've got what I can, and let me go ahead and focus uh, this uh, camera here. Let me change my um, lights real quick so that way. We can be in tune. Let me know what the hell is going on. All right, one second. So I'm underneath the seat. As you can see, let me try to zoom out for you. Camera's still choppy. I don't know why I act like that when I speed up the uh, frames per second. But sometimes I got to reset my a phone. It'll be good. So as you can see, I'm under the seat. All this dirt. Look at this. This is nasty. It'd be a good time to uh, take out, like, uh, you know, get a vacuum cleaner and just start vacuuming this. Um, I'll probably just go uh, go ahead and uh, get the vacuum cleaner and do that for her. Or uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. As far as my concern is, I need to get that uh, whatever's in the way. So um, these, uh, this rail right here, as you can see, uh, this is a track. You'll see less components. You only see stuff like the airbag, like the waste sensor and stuff like that. Uh, you just see a few various connectors for like the airbag and stuff. Uh, you, if you had like power seats, you would see like the motors, multiple like three or four motors or whatever, and um, you'll see uh, you know, all under the seat, and then two the seat would have been a little bit heavier. But we ain't, we got manual, so this is even better. So this is a rail right here, uh, the track. Uh, well, this is the track right here, as you can see. Uh, sometimes stuff gets stuck up inside of here. I've seen pennies, or plastic objects. Or whatever, whatever it is that could fall into the seat definitely can get caught up in here. And um, that uh, whenever you hit this lever up here, uh, this part right here slides up uh, in the uh, rail. So, um, well, I already see what was the uh, what is the damn problem. I just wanted to just wait off for a second and run my mouth. But you can see that little red and white object right here. Uh, let me try to get in zoom uh, in here real quick. If we can see it. I don't know what this is. It looks like uh, it's in my way because it's definitely uh, inside of the uh, the track. That's the track right there. And I'm trying to like lift this up. As you can see, that's in the way clearly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out with like some needle nose pliers. Let me go grab them real quick. And then let me see if we can get some function going on. All right. So I got the needle nose plier. One of my favorite selections uh, from uh, last video. I did. If you haven't watched that, I showed you what type of uh, pliers I use. You know, I don't have like a big, you know, crazy little arsenal or whatever, but I got enough to get 
the job done. So I don't know how I'm going to hold this camera and try to pick this out at the same time. I should have got the angled ones. Maybe I shouldn't have. Could be should be good with these. But it looks like I can grip it. So I'm going to try to grab it some more. I seriously don't know what this is. It's like a type of toy or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, this shit is really in there. Let me try to use my fingertips. All right. All right, so I don't know what that is. Let me grab it for a second. Huh. All right, who is this? Oh, this looked like the bull from a uh, family guy. So this got the, the family guy bull dog. You all up in the seat making my efforts not be able to use the seat. So I'm I'm going to just I'm gonna put a homeboy down tossing right there. I know y'all probably getting a kick out of this. I kind of laughing a little bit myself. Uh, let me see if I get uh, some action going on in the seat. So I'm gonna lower the seat down. And let me see if I get. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, hold up. Okay, oh, ooh, ooh, okay. All right, let me stop it. So I'm gonna, um, I need to, let me walk my ass around this car again. So apparently that fixed the problem. Um, what I'm gonna do next for Jazz is I'm gonna do my best to get some of this trash out. Got Slim Jim and cheese, beef. That's just crazy. That's just straight. Now, Jazz, I gotta grind you up, boo. Um, let me get the rest of this. Little tags from the seat. Hold on, we got a book of matches. That's going in my pocket, because you know, for my smokes. Um, let me see what else we got under here. Um, you was looking for this? Uh, I mean, you blame me? Saying I, I took it? Okay, so we only that in the driver's seat. It. And y'all see how you like to do me. But I'm gonna get some of this debris out and then install the seat. So um there you guys have it. If you guys have any issues, you got power seats, you hear the motor moving, but the seat, it only moves like a little, not even an inch or an inch. It won't just won't even you're not getting a full function or whatever. Uh you can't go forward, I mean forward, and you can't go backwards. Uh manual seat, power seats, um, this type of situation. Uh, I can fall on like uh, you know most of your year making models out there. Uh, definitely, if you got power seats, definitely. Um, just I don't I'm trying to figure out what else to you know to keep chiming in on. Uh, listen, just check underneath. Maybe you could peek underneath. Uh, to to I did kind of see it underneath. And I, I I I mean I, moving removing the seat only cost me. Uh, 10 15 minutes of my time and as a mechanic, I always got 10 15 minutes. That's cool But for you, you know, uh, that's a whole different you know, scenario I, I don't know how long it's gonna take you or whatever. So if you feel like it's gonna take you uh, 80 days to get the seat off then try to get whatever underneath if you can see it But it was easier for me to just lift the seat I did kind of see what was on it But I lift the seat up and I've got some needle nose pliers or used my uh, fingertips and um, I got the toy out so uh, I'm going to go to repair. I hope you guys was helpful. Uh, once again, this is 2013 for, uh Focus, the hatchback. And um, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Anybody want to send me some cool stuff? Uh, my name is Malik. Malik Auto Repair in parentheses. P.O. Box number four. Right, Lansdowne, PA, 19050. Anybody want to leak Auto Repair shirts? $25 plus shipping. Just email me. You know, get, get, get with you or whatever. Product reviews. And anybody got any like car questions or whatever, email me legal repair at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram um, at legal to repair as well. So I like y'all and uh, I guess just I see y'all. Y'all see me in the next video, I guess.